Uh, they're players, and I love John. John's a good friend, a good, good, good coach. Uh, I like to watch his teams. We've carried some competition over the years about number of our shooting drills and how many shots we're making compared to his guys. It's a little bit of a different team for him. I mean, they've always been known as a very skilled offensive team, great shooters. And I mean, you just look down at the numbers here. I mean, their teams are shooting 32.9 percent against them. Teams are shooting 27.8 against him. Uh, he's, his team has shot 80 free throws, and the opponents have only shot 65. So all those are on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm not saying John was a bad defensive coach in the past, but it's a completely different team for him. Charles Matthews, I tried to recruit a little bit out of high school. I did not know anything, and I, I hate to say it like this, Grace Delkis, whatever his name is, my God, he can really play. I don't have a clue where the crap he came from. But I know he can really play when I watch him on tape. And so, again, it has to go back to John because John puts it together. But uh, their offense has always been very uh, meticulous, very organized, a great diversity. They'll have backdoor cuts. They'll have post-ups. They'll have three-point shooters. They'll have drivers. It's a hard defense, hard offense to cover. But this year, their, their defensive numbers. Steve Kirsten is wisdom, says that they average 48.3 giving up and we average 96.6. .6. He said that is exactly twice. I'm telling you, I think if we score 96, I think we've got a better chance of winning. So is the key to make sure you are doing you all against UCLA and taking care of the basketball? Yeah, I think, you know, if it's a low possession game, turnovers are always more important if it's a lower possession game. If you play 100 possessions and have 12 turnovers, it's not quite as important as if you play a 60 possession game and you have 12 turnovers. Uh, if they get an open opportunity, they're going to run it. But if it's against a set defense, you got to guard. And you've got to be patient enough, tough enough to guard for 20, 25, 30 seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, turnovers uh, turnovers are huge, just as in the rebounding. The rebounding margins, you, if it's a small possession game, too. This is the uh, 20th year of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Um, and a lot has changed in the landscape since they started it. There's more conference games now probably more made for TV matchups that this was kind of intended to be. Do you think it still has value to continue the ACC Big Ten Challenge? To the conference. Doesn't have much value to me because we're going to play a big time schedule anyway. But uh, I mean, we don't have, we're not going from 18 to 20 games next, next year. We're going to 21 because this one sets to home. It's some of the highest rated TV games they have. They're not going to do away with that. So 